who's starting off on blue coin line heart it is magpie, magpie is on blue coin and as Pia did he is trying to get this siege list through this time puzzle express taking elves to try and deal with it as his first option though this is not what happened last time he tried the sk list which worked very well but didn't actually manage to prevent this list getting through so it's going to be very interesting muta generator available to magpie but there is access to that heat wave in the hand of puzzle express and as we saw last time i would not be there yeah. i would not be surprised to see it <laughs> yeah no uh puzzle express has made it clear he is very uh, prepared to use heat wave on that six provision artifact when and he draws it as well i don't disagree with him does it take three or five seconds to play heat wave <laughs> two one three two, never mind it... <laughs> Uh, yeah. and it yes. might seem weird right you're looking at going but it's a zero tempo play it's you know how do you deal with siege now ultimately if you leave that on the board in round one it is a much bigger threat each card you play in the back row it will boost five cards in the deck of the same provision so it is absolutely huge puzzle express's hand feels very very good here to be able to abuse how the position he's in red coin tempo for days and vanadane and scenario with the Nero still available, Ooh, he's going to feel great about that. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Puzzle Express here absolutely denying round control, and that's something you really need. Hence the reason Magpie chose this list on Blue Coin. They always tend to use it on Blue Coin. I mean, obviously, because of the fact that the artifact itself is such low tempo, you really need that extra push when going Blue Coin. And yeah, if Puzzle Express can deny that, Magpie is in a lot of trouble. You're simply going to bleed out that Siege, bleed out Henzold if possible, go into a short round with uh, your Simla setup and you're good to go, really. Yeah, and that's, that's one of the scary things about this. In Puzzle Express here, actually dropping a lead to say, I am not letting you out. I want this round and I want it on even. You are going nowhere, my friend. That is very aggressive from Puzzle Express. I mean, that is the but, aggression you get <laughs> from somebody who just almost made it into open two by like three points. So um, I think Puzzle Express is going to try and get through this one rather quickly. Very determined to make yeah. it into open number two. These are the final chances to make it into open number two, by the way. Magpie and Puzzle Express. It's up to these two players to determine the lineup for this July. Very much so. I'm just going to quickly look at Magpie's list because remember, for this matchup particularly squirreling away that extra heat wave can be relevant it's more relevant in the self wound matchup to be able to get rid of the double heat wave option for puzzle express than it is in this one i think he'll feel confident especially if he wins on even that he can just bleed this out and simless his way to victory uh, but it is potentially an option uh, magpie's list does not this one certainly does not have access to a squirrel his ursine ritual sensibly does though all right. Well, I mean, Puzzle Express just committed Vanadayen. We see Edoran coming out. We see Yaven coming out, uh, making it very clear that passing is not an option here. Puzzle Express wants to stay ahead at all costs. I mean, passing is an option, to be fair, at this point, I want to say. It, but it, it is, really... because you have to play a Nero here. Yeah. He doesn't want to give the waylays. He wants to maintain the option, I think. He may just take the waylay, but I think he wants to hold the option of maybe getting the extra heat wave and give he says, "You know what? I'm now done with that option. I'm happy with my hand." This is scary for Magpie, but he has no interest in getting out. Knows mm -hmm. he has to keep playing here. Well, if Magpie goes slow tempo now, I'd say it's pretty all right to just pass because the amount of commitment you'd have to place on the board in order to get ahead in one turn is going to be your win con in itself. I mean, you're going to have to go for something like Henzalt and Leader Charges. Yeah, or Leader, maybe. Yeah, well, Amphibious Assault also does the trick quite nicely, to be fair, and he does have yeah. access to that right now. So Puzzle Express is going to have to choose very carefully here what he's willing to commit. And honestly, the answer to that is whatever he wants, I would say. Plays this on the back row, actually gets double value for that, killing his own Vanadane there, but it makes sense because the waylays he intends to play are all done. Does not want to play the one in hand because that is actually technically the fifth waylay. Two in deck, two in graveyard, one in hand. Would much rather play Alyssa here instead and shuffle them back, I would imagine. Could be wrong, but I would say that would be the line you'd most likely take. Yeah, Puzzle Could Express. Could also genuinely pass, though, here. I know. I know. The thing is, he really he needs to know the matchup quite well. He needs to know who's able to pull it off. 
even with a car down, who has the most slam, right? Can can something like Henzelt obtain more points in a short round than something like Simlas? He needs to be calculating this precisely. He decides, yeah, he decides he's got it. He's got I'm it. really surprised he's taken this pass a second time. He did this exact same thing against Pyre. Perfect yes. round one, had an option of playing another card and didn't in the end, decided against doing so and gave the pass. Now, a slightly better spot, but not, not much better because he's getting ahead in one card here comfortably without committing leaders mm -hmm. and now isn't bleeding Siege out and is instead possibly getting bled by Siege. Here. In fact, probably getting bled by Siege himself. See, that's my problem. If you're able to set up your engines and borrow the wipe before your opponent is able to set up their board, you're in a lot of trouble. And right now, you've given round control to Magpie. Magpie is oh, an no, experienced player. Magpie. He knows what he needs to do and when he needs to do it. So, I mean, I'm hoping he passes here, being two cards down. Um, I, since... I don't know if that... Yeah. I don't know if you do. I don't know if he does pass here. He does, okay. Yeah, okay. He does, Thank it gosh. makes sense. And, um, okay. He's going to be very yeah. happy with this because he is two cards down, of course. That is the difference, right? But yeah, top decking away lays agonizing, so Puzzle will be very glad that there wasn't, you know, because you could siege and pull enough to trigger siege, board wipe, uh, but with everything that's available, that's just too scary. Hmm, okay. So, I mean, you oh, have options not to... great, though. Quite a but um can he take a mulligan can he risk a mulligan here and drawing into a waylay he doesn't bother he says no first and last say will be sufficient all right this is going to be interesting so puzzle express going first here is going to be able to board wipe potentially if that siege comes out onto the board from magpie's end uh definitely don't see radovid surviving uh that's going to be a problem Oh, but makes it interesting. Now, if you want to play Simlas, it's going to waste a bunch of points if you want to get rid of Radovitz. So Makes sense. Play it early. Yeah, interesting. Could still remove it, though. A Neuromancy, if it isn't needed for anything else, I'm pretty sure the Mastercrafted Spear is sat in the deck. Hmm. So it could kill it, but it denies access to a lot of other things if you want to do it. Probably is worth it, I'll be honest. Probably yeah. is worth it. All right, there's not much left in the deck anyway, now that we can see it ourselves. Does get rid of Radovid. Very nicely done. I expect to see Siege coming out pretty soon. That's exactly what we yeah. see here. Yeah, Siege has been and gone. Plays it onto the back row as well. Normally, I know it's just a habit, I play it onto the front row. Yeah. But likely maybe wants to play the hen cell onto that row um, so that he can pair and play instead. Is he going for this already? Hmm... Is he just jamming Hensel right now? No, okay, that's mm -mm. fine. No, definitely not. But I wouldn't I be surprised say, oh to my. see Simlas coming out. Ah, uh, well, you have the argument of trying not to play a lot on the board, so when Bombardment goes off, it doesn't really hit a lot. Or you have the argument yeah. of playing Simlas now and get rid of as many engines as you can. Though it's going to be rather difficult at this point. There's already a lot on the board. Let's see, you can Ooh, you can get rid of the Ballista at 9. Bombardment. Yeah, that's going to hurt a lot. It is, and it's really awkward here if you're Puzzle Express, because once again, he's in that situation of anything I put on the card on the board right now is dead. Mm -hmm. So, because the next card probably should be the scenario triggering, right? Yes. But we, it's more it's likely that he's just that, going to bombardment and use the charges. Okay, so that's exactly clear. what's happening. Puzzle Express is not playing something on the board trying to keep it safe he's doing exactly what magpie wants to be doing with hensel which is keep it as long as possible so it's safe but yeah now magpie is in an awkward position here like you said that last each engine is only going to be played by hensel so unless you're going all out which is something you don't want to do if there's nothing on the board to kill no it's not and obviously he does have the five waylays and he can deny two of the siege engines as a result here including one of the important ones the reinforced ballista but choosing to do that now means you're relying on high rolls from verno instead to take out other siege engines you haven't got the answer you can get rid of the value on the hen cell at least which is decent because of the spores but it's a little scary i think this has to be puzzle express's turn to play the simless you think I so? honestly think that might be what he does. I mean, he it's, has a it's solid tough target. Here. I don't... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, look, okay. So <laughs> no. he has just he, he has forgiven himself 
at least at least seven points he has just decided I don't want here. Has decided those seven points, a minimally seven, eight, nine, nine more points could have been had by that card. Yeah, way right? more points uh, because of all the but... waylays, because of Verna Seal. You know, those aren't going to trigger and uh, trigger isn't grim retrospectively. They are going to be triggered after words because um, they aren't deployed, yes. right? They're just spawning. But <laughs> equally, and th again, Puzzle Express really smart here is saying. Show me the things I am scared of. And I love this. Magpie discards. That is legitimately the right answer. Magpie has discarded there. All right. Instead of playing. Because he knows ultimately, look, Puzzle Express, you aren't doing this in one, right? So give me an option or don't. Show me what you're going to play. I want something to destroy. Puzzle Express's cards feel too valuable to do that, though. So now comes the risk. I love how these lists are some of the most interactive lists in the entire meta right now, and both are being played as solitaire lists. It's like, just I discard, have this discard. many points in one card, you have this many points in one card, I can just play nothing and wait until the end, and we can see you have the most points on the board. Um, but yeah, that's a way Both to do it. rely on targets, right? They need interactivity, and if you feed your opponent, then you're in trouble. Um, that's kind of the risk, right? If you give your opponent all the options and then they can remove them, you end up in a weakened place. It's literally, it's like high noon. Who is going to pull the trigger first, right? Who is going to pull the trigger first? Oh, dear gosh. It's, has discarded here. That is huge. That is huge here. Banking on this being enough with full leader. This is the most fun I've had casting since Pyable decided to discard cards when he was playing a Kaltulus mm -hmm. matchup. And this is Puzzle Express made this exact same play. This exact same play against Pyre and it didn't pay off, but was constantly self pinging to try and get as much value as possible. Uh, made, as I say, all of the exact same calls here. No, there's no difference in these decisions. This from is previously so well is, is done. he gonna destroy the destroy his own one power so he could have destroyed his own one power unit to the left and played that on the front row for another point chose not to do that um okay but magpie not running siege tower here i don't think so 39 uh, which points Pi, which pyre was 39 point swing is it possible let's see it is and there you nice. have it, Simlas. And the vile carries. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I love Simlas and Van Dayen. It's my favorite combination. Wow. Uh, uh, yes. GG, That's... well played, well played. And, and that is exactly how he wanted that game to go, game one against Pyreball, and it didn't go that way, game one against Pyreball. One of the difference, Mute Generator lists almost exclusively run five provision cards because carryover. But if you're running the Siege version that has Henselt, that one option for players playing at the very top end who you are going to have that level of willingness to discard playing just for the combo at the end, mm -hmm. Siege Tower wins that game for Magpie. 100%. Yeah, I mean, at least they were both playing the same game. It's not like one was playing a True. more wholesome version. Uh, they were both playing those lists that ramp up until the end and have a massive amount of points. And they calculated it, and Puzzle Express just said, well, I beat you. I beat you if I just wait until the very end and then play some last. So yeah. well done, Puzzle Express. Wonder, uh, well done. Taking his square talus through on red, now has blue coin, has the option of playing either off the books, which I think previously we did see on blue coin, and we have we Reckless did. Flurry, which we yeah. saw on Blue Coin as well. So could be either we one. Did. Could be either and one. And so it's gonna the big decision here is gonna be for him. Cause now that list's through, he's gonna want to be able to to defeat Self Wound, right? Yes. Self Wound, he he'll feel like he can win with both Flurry and off the books, but I I think he's gonna want Flurry to deal with the self wound list because it just mm -hmm. has so many answers it has yes. a heat wave it has a muzzle it has air and dike twice mm -hmm. uh it thins really well magic compass hey he won a game with Camby in this tournament like <sighs> against pyeballs list right so it's a very similar list yeah. being played by magpie so if he got a similar matchup he already knows how to go about doing that wouldn't be surprised to see that happening maybe we see scalaga on blue coin here would magpie make the mistake of going scalaga 
No. No, never. But Postal Express thinks he was going to, I think. He knew it was a chance. Obviously, look, you want to win, right? You, you 100% you just want to win. You want a 3-0. That's fine. Um, yeah. But. Hey, exciting this is times. Be interesting. All right. So, oh, oh. North Garden Red, Scalagon Blue. Makes sense. So, yeah, Puzzle Express here really needs tempo. He needs ground control because that Aeronite needs to grow. Right now, it doesn't have Carl in hand, which is unfortunate. Not yet. Yeah. There's an option. No, and again. And you can see as well, no. uh, Calvate has been found by Magpie. is one of the initial risks. Uh, I'm assuming an instant maxi. Oh, and Nickers is the first card, but Coral is the second one. So if you can get as soon as Nickers is out, you know first discard is giving you what you want. For sure, for sure. It's not a horrible hand on either side. I think both players uh, drawed all right. No real bricks or anything like that. Not that Hjalmar can be used just yet, but that's all right. It's nice having the option in hand anyway. So we Ooh. see Puzzle Express tempoing ahead quite easily. Aeronite's definitely going to keep growing. Question is whether Magpie do, is going to contest Express shuffled. It. Oh, yeah? Unless I'm Puzzle Express shuffled, yeah, because he just used the ability and drew a card that wasn't Nickers. So decided to shuffle that. Isn't fussed at all about the Coral. Didn't like the rest of the hand state and was like, yeah, I'm out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Place Burner Bran. Ooh, Muzzle's a great draw. Magic Compass for extra thinning, potentially down the line. And that could be a lot worse. The problem now is the hand is getting to a point where there's a lot of cards you definitely do not want to commit yet. So yeah, going to run so. out of turns quite quickly if you go on too long into this round. Uh, there is something in the graveyard now, though. Hjalmar can at least damage a six. If you really have to use it, you don't want to use the Erendite too early. You're always worried about knowing the Squirrel exists. We did see him lose that second uh, Erendite in the previous series. Instead, takes the tempo and says, mm -hmm. okay, goodbye. Makes sense. It's an awkward hand. Let's be honest. It's a bit of an awkward hand. It's a pity because losing ground control is not ideal with Erendite. You really want to go first, seeing that Erendite will have a better chance oh. of growing. Oh, Magpie. Nickers comes out. Is Nickers going to be the difference? Oh, oh dear. Going into a long round immediately, are we? Erendite's happy. <laughs> it is, but it hasn't had the chance to grow into that second round, remember, either. And it doesn't get two turns, so... But Squirrel would have just sorted that out anyway. Um, well, probably. It, it has a lot of options, seeing that Magic Compass is in the mix. But yeah, we rarely true. see Erendite being played twice if there's a Squirrel. I mean, against this... You're not giving a great chance to thin here. Magic Compass needs you to have less than three cards. So if you're not playing that round two, it can actually be really awkward. Magic Compass cannot be the one in that situation. I think this does thin well enough, even in this situation, or he wouldn't have passed, but makes it a lot harder. For sure, for sure. Mm, let's see. So we're assuming that Magpie is going to be passing. Yes. I think you definitely yeah, want to play are, a card yeah. or two on the board here in order to allow Erendite to grow even bigger. You've got Raging Bear at your disposal. Yeah, see Raging Bear coming down there. Do you play Magic Compass? Do you, is it necessary to play Magic Compass? Is that a risk you're willing to take to thin down? Probably not. You've got a couple of discard cards in your hand still. Um, You've got two oh, right now. You've got draw, two. Which is fine, right? Because mm. you're going to draw. Uh, you need to play one more card, actually. Okay, there's okay, another so one. Discard to discard, that's fine. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, so you're drawing three cards and you're discarding a fourth, so it should be fine. Yeah, perfect. And I think Erendite's very happy now, actually going first. It's going to be rather big, isn't it? Uh, I think Erendite's going to play for loads of points now. You got some carryover with the Mushy Truffle. You thinned adequately. Even have the Dimune Pirate, which I never play. But it certainly is an option if you have cards in the deck that you don't need, and you can simply use that to discard a card on top of your deck. You also have Darren. You have Darren, Carl, as well as the Dimion Pirates. Not a bad yeah. hand. No, not a bad hand at all. I, I hope we get to see a huge amount of value from this Tawny Hjalmar here. I really do. Um, yeah, lineups there. Yeah, hands look pretty decent here either way. Mulls away, Yen. Why are there so many lion feels weirds, man, in the chat? What did I, what did I miss? Don't even, just no, <laughs> just no. 
Um, not gonna ask. And I can see Pyabol as well. Phenomenal performance. Congratulations. That lineup uh, from Puzzle is really good to yours. You played very well. Congratulations on Open 2. Yeah, that was amazingly done. Very close. Really good. Very close. Uh, okay, so gonna gonna ignore Ooh. chat there like we normally do, and uh, we see the uh, we see the mage coming out there. Karak for gate. Oh, finds decent engine value as well. Has the synergy? Can find some soldiers maybe with a little bit more create. Are you re are you worried enough to steal that or be threatened by it? Uh, hmm. Are you worried that they're gonna overswarm? Are you worried that you overswarm? Not really, right? Not... Uh, yeah, no, this list is quite an offensive mm -hmm. and quite an aggressive one. You've got loads of ways of dealing with that. Uh, the big thing, okay, that makes sense. And finds very, very talented here. Very talented from Puzzle. Uh, if Puzzle can take this game here. It's mm. already in a great spot anyway. Okay, <laughs> not messing around. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> so you're going to be savage. Do you click it? Do no. you have to click this Don't. here? It's going to be so annoyed. <sighs> You can just rain it. Ugh, I don't yeah. know. He's, he's weighing it up. He's weighing it up and decides angrily. I heard <laughs> the growl from here. But you need those tokens gone because the tokens are units from another faction, right? So you can't let that. You can't let them stay. Well, I mean, as long as they're just spawning, they shouldn't. Well, okay, we're looking at it's, the uh, Tony Shelmar. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, that and is a problem. Is, it, yeah, it is. Or it could be. It could be. Obviously, as well, you've got the synergy here. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it doesn't... Uh, no, sorry. Spawn's always to the right. Because that's actually a soldier, right? That could crew that. Yeah. Again, overswarming is a real problem when it comes to uh, Nilfgaard. You can't actually go all out here. I mean, yeah, you've got a lot of cards that are going to be coming onto that side of the board. Right now, I think there's no real rush to get rid of the threat. We already see, oh, okay, we see another one coming down at eight points and we see the first one being clicked. So that's one more space on the board, which is very nice for Magpie. Makes sense, you gain the rain value as well. Trying to get those engines down nice and early here. Still manages to miss. <laughs> <laughs> he tried okay, though. Okay, so which, yeah, which of the options are you going for here? <sighs> Wants to shut down those engines now, but really, re realistically, this was for Junod, right? Wanted to either grab, like, either option. And is <laughs> instead does decide to get rid of the, the one power ship here. Obviously was hoping for one of the only two undamaged cards there. That was there. such a horrible um, target, though. I mean, even if you could damage that little half through by one point, that would be a seven-point target right there. <laughs> yeah. That was a horrible target. But I, I, I understand it, though. I do understand. It, yeah. It still makes sense, right? I mean, it still makes yeah. sense. Tony Shalmar is going to go uncontested because Magpie's last say, so it is, it's an absolute threat. Um, definitely one that Puzzle Express has to deal with here. It's difficult. What do you kill? Sure. Do you kill your assimilate targets or do you kill the cards from the other factions? You really have to decide carefully what's going to uh, accumulate into more value at the end of the day. Nice. Definitely. The assimilate targets, generally speaking, tend to be good options. The bit, One of the big decisions there was which cards am I leaving for my opponent to be able to use? Because Rune Mage was played in round one. All five of these options are now going to be visible. Um, so was a potential part of the decision making there. Which one am I going to play so that you can't play it? Was it the muzzle? Because that's trading for 12. Erendite here, you get a base copy. So that is completely useless. Heatwave plays for less. So could have actually muzzled that instead in yeah. the, the turn before rather than killing to deny that extra set of points. Puzzle deciding not to do that, though. Uses Erendite. All right. Using Erendite, oh, still not huge. a hit, though. Yeah, that was a massive Erendite. We go Hjalmar. What's in the graveyard? An eight-point... A little half -ray. That's a lot of points right there. Gosh. Yeah, that's a lot. We still have access to Magic Compass here on the side of Puzzle Express. Heatwave being played rather quickly. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, it's not looking amazing for Puzzle Express, but there's still hope. Again, that Magic Compass can do quite a bit of damage. Candy has been might played. might be one of the worst briberies <laughs> I've ever seen. Good lord. I thought bribery only high rolled. I take it all back. Hmm. I don't know about this hand. Let's see, there aren't what? any Assimilate Engines on the board left, which is great. Uh, nicely done. So that's Mushi Truffle. Units for Shalimar, right? 
Yes, that's the problem. A little half rear. Another eight. Eight. I mean, how are you going to cross that gap, right? That's a lot of points you're missing. It is still has both of them still have truffle, which is a little bit painful here. Um, there isn't. Okay, hang on. He doesn't play the Shalimar here. I don't think this is doable, right? I don't think because Shalimar on deploy will boost itself anyway, so it's not even. You don't even have the opportunity of playing like an Arnagad to deny it because it will get punched after its deployability. No, there's nothing's no winning. Nothing's playing for 32. Like, Wild Boar of the Sea is a load of points, I guess, but I don't think it's anywhere near sufficient. No, no. this is Magpie's game no. by far. Please play it. Do yeah. it. No, Magpie. <laughs> Boo! I wanted to see it. And it is 1-1. One, one. It is 1-1 one, one there. Magpie pulling that back pretty quickly. Um, interesting choice to not decide to bleed that felt that in the long round had enough answers uh not the way that uh, that match was played previously but now on another coin are we going to see him flip to the syndicate list or is he going to stick with the reckless flurry on an opposite coin wouldn't yeah. normally hmm wouldn't okay normally. so we're on red coin for puzzle express blue coin for yes. magpie let me just switch back to the yeah. faces all right so what's a good blue coin list obviously stockpile um was magpie's first choice and it's another choice here it's an obvious choice i think yeah one that puzzle express could cue into but what does he have reckless flurry and off the books both those have tempo uh though i'd say reckless flurry has far more control which is rather scary if you're going to go against uh siege engines um, yeah, well, both hmm. of the lists, realistically, for Magpie Stockpile and Ursa and Ritual, neither of them want to deal with that Reckless Flurry list. No. Because uh, it can be a pain for both of them, right? Exactly. So, which... Magpie is going to try to work out which one he's more worried about taking it with. He's probably not expecting it to be queued on red here, because ideally it wants to be on blue, right? So, I guess we don't need to guess, though. There's, we don't need to. They are literally blitzing their way straight through this. After the tie in the last one. Okay. And we do see him take it. He's taking the siege list again. Magpie feels that that one has a better chance on blue overall. Rather scary. Will Puzzle Express find the answer? Because Puzzle and Express currently no. has a few answers in deck. Let's see if he actually draws into it. But I'd say this is a, a good snipe on Puzzle Express's end. I feel like this is the best list to counter Magpie's stockpile list with. Though not a good start, is it? Has Yelmar? No. Uh, that's it. It, it is a great... Uh, it, it, it is a great... Uh, doesn't Mulligan. Doesn't Mulligan here. And now is going to see that his heat wave is nowhere to be found. That's That is the third from last card. That's disappointing. Expecting a shuffle. He always and does now go Magpie, for that, right? Yeah, Magpie is now going to be smiling wide. That didn't get heat wave turn one, and he is thinking, <laughs> bring it on. This is... I can lose on even here. I don't care. And he finds the wrong one. Um, he will be feeling pretty good about that realistically because uh makes it a lot easier for him. Hey, it happens. I mean, oh, look, Puzzle Express is going for it. Hey, he could still sort of make his way there if he's able to gain round control on even. It's a possibility. Does have Carl. That's going to provide significant tempo. I mean, something that this list lacks for stockpile is tempo if you want carryover. It depends what you value more. If you're going to play all your cards on the range row, you're not going to win the round per se, but you're going to have a lot of points later. Um, yeah, see, all that range row drops isn't going to help you win the round, and Puzzle Express knows that. So he's going with yeah, plan Magpie B. Magpie doesn't mind, though. Right, Magpie doesn't care about winning this round. This is all about carryover. Losing on even here, no problem whatsoever. The belief that, you know what? Fine, bleed me. I will survive. I have more points than you know what to do with. My ability in the short round will win this for me. That would be quite scary, but every time I've tried, Ooh. this list can really just not care about losing on even here. That was nicely done. That was nicely done. So played on the melee row, right, for an extra point, so Muzzle can't steal. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense here. Are you trying to discard one of the 8P cards here just for the extra damage from Coral, maybe? Hmm. All right. Makes sense, right? And, <laughs> well, well, better late than never, I suppose. Better late than never. I guess uh, you have other targets for Heatwave that isn't necessarily the meter generator, so potentially being yeah, used on Siege now. yeah, later on. Hmm. This is, I mean, it's going to be tough, 
from this position, right? Because Magpie, as I say, he's happy to lose on even. He doesn't mind. He's just going to keep going here. As long as Puzzle is willing to keep playing into this round, I think Magpie is going to be happy to do exactly the same. See, a decent muzzle, huge amount of points, maybe takes a tempo pass at this stage, and Magpie has to be a little bit it's wary. Interesting, though, Magpie just played the drum in the middle row, indicating that he's willing to try and get ahead. I mean, if he really didn't care about the round, he'd play that on the range row, and he'd get even more carryover. But he went for the melee row, which is very interesting. Because, look, he's contemplating it. He's contemplating whether he should go deeper into this round or not. But Puzzle Express OP. just passes then. Yeah. The uh, Magpie has to pass here. Mm -mm. Oh, my days. He's, he's going gonna... for it. Is he aa Yeah, I think so. There's not really another I'm option. I'm a little surprised here. I would. That's a huge amount. Unless he's willing to give Hensel in this round, which he's implying that he is, I would have thought Magpie was out here. We can see where lots of carryover sitting on various cards. Oh. And he just plays... Okay, he's playing Maxi front row. He's saying to Puzzle Express, oh dear play another card. Yes, pass. And Puzzle Thank says you. bye. Thank you for passing, Puzzle, for once. Um, okay, okay, so, so this is going to be into... Assault, right? Yeah. But then I've seen people play this list. Look how many points you can grab from this. This is, what, 20 points? Dear gosh. Look at how many points that... Look at how readily you can wow. catch up here. All right. That is... And he's two cards down, but he doesn't mind being two cards down because all of his cards now play for 10, 11, 12 points, even if they're bronzes, right? Exactly. That is pretty scary. And I think giving that round, I think Puzzle's in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, it's rather sad. The thing is, Puzzle has a lot of tall removal, but there's not really a lot of tall targets in the stockpile unless you pair up Heat Wave or something like Siege. The rest are just small engines, really. So, yeah, Puzzle Express probably play some carry over here in the form of the Mushy Truffle, I'd say. Uh, though, Just drop. has he thinned adequately? No, he's going to have to move something with um, well, Darren, Darren will I be think, able... into the graveyard. Yeah, mm, it's a bit awkward here, actually. Yeah, I think, I think he has to use the Darren, right? Uh, just to get rid of something so at least he can use the, um, the compass. I would imagine we see that, uh, but... Yeah, it's a much of a muchness. The cho your choice here is Misk, right? Um, surprised it wasn't the Squirrel, but he's going to see all five cards now, so that's redundant anyway. This, I mean, he can... Okay, so he can choose to Heat Wave the Siege to, to, to not have to play that really risky game, sort of standing on the line of, I can't play anything because you're going to destroy it all, but none of the carryover, or not a lot of the carryover sitting in hand. Okay, that's that couldn't be much better, actually, for Magpie. Both of those, they're going to thin through AA and Nero. See, yeah, ouch. This one might be painful. Well, let's see. We've got Siege. That's going to be dealt with with Heat Wave. Most engines are going to be dealt with immediately with cards like Hjalmar, uh, Erendite later on, uh, Gutting Slash, Junos. So obviously Heat Wave comes down right now. Deny, deny, deny. I'd hope. I would hope. Probably, yeah. Probably. And then Magic Compass in the end. I saw a little comment in chat saying, uh, Arna Chad dealing with Hensold, and I quite like that. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm always pro Arna Chad unless someone cues into me with it and I have no answer, in which case I hate it. But. Of course. That's how it works. We are hypocrites. <laughs> how dare you, madam? <laughs> um... Okay, let's see. Carabalista. Uh, and just the sheer volume of points that that plays for, as well as the thinning value, is astronomical here. Multiple bodies on board now needing dealing with as well. No bloodthirst in this situation. And we can see... Yeah, plays the truffle. These are actually really great against Siege, though, because obviously they damage themselves, right? So mm -hmm. you're reducing some of the value that you would otherwise be losing. Yeah, absolutely. So they're purposely not targeting Little Harfru there, targeting the Rage Bear. Uh, the Raging Bear. We see Carabalista coming down there. And yeah, luckily Hinzel didn't brick, so we still have access to Fortress Pry directly from the deck, which is nice. Okay, again, not the luckiest pings there, Puzzle, unfortunately for uh, you. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised the second leader charge came out straight away. Got lucky in the end, potentially. Um, 
is going to Hjalmar here instead of Zhunoding. I, I assumed it was to target the engine on the back row because it was the only Zhunod he was going to get. Uh, doesn't decide to do that in the end and just second leaders, but there was a version of reality. All those pings go into that and damage it even further. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I wonder how big Aeronite is right now. I wish we could see. It's likely going to yeah. be a lot of points, seeing that puzzle did remain Around ahead for most of the game here. It's at, at least 12. It's at, at least 12. Because there were a couple of rounds in this round that weren't, uh, where they weren't ahead. But yeah, it's at, at least 12 right now. Nicely done there. Removing the one ballista. Okay, we're going to see the other one come out most likely. Yeah. No, going no. for the pikeman. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna... Going for the full board clear soon. Very, very feasible. Okay, we see Aeronite coming out there. Normally comes out when you see you're not ahead anymore and there's no chance of getting ahead, so yeah. you just use it to get rid of the target you want. Hmm. I don't know about okay. this. This magic compass is going to be have to be very strategic uh, for Puzzle to yeah. take this. The placing is off as well. That mushy truffle is going to struggle. I'm curious. Because you know what's left, right? Okay, so playing the greed game, just holding everything here. If Magpie plays... Magpie has a choice here. If he bombardments here, we actually might see Ardachad, unironically. I mean, he can just play no, Hensel now. It's always now. right to just play it now. Yeah, yeah it's always right no to play it now. To. No, and it makes sense, right? Makes sense. And that, I believe, is... GG. Oh yes, 100%. Could be, could be wrong, but... Oh no, it's GG. I would say... GG Magpie. That is... Yeah. Well played. Doesn't use all the leader... Oh yeah. <laughs> no, doesn't need to. No. Doesn't need to. And that is 2-1 to Magpie here. Not finding that heat wave early and then giving the round uh, puzzle was... Let's say that was an uphill task. Magpie now just needs to get self-wound through here. So, big decision. Obviously, self-wound now for Magpie is coming through on red coin. I would be stunned if we didn't see that Skelligalist going on blue coin mm -hmm. as a result. Yeah, we saw that work very well against Pyable, so I'm sure since the lists are very similar, that Puzzle Express is just going to take that against Magpie's list on red. Well, Let's see, yeah. what was the list? Uh, well, Puzzle Express took Skelligon blue and Pyre took Skelligon red. So, yeah, I think you're right. We'll definitely see Skelligon blue again. It's if it works, why well, fix it? the risk it? is going to be the off the because obviously he's in a position where he's two red. one down, but his opponent only has one list. Where the reckless flurry list generally wants blue, but is favoured into the matchup entirely, so it could take red coin and be happy mm -hmm. if you really want to smoke with the off the books list, thinking it's a little bit less favoured. Almost wouldn't be surprised to see him decide to take this the other way around, but we'll see. I suppose the off the books list on red is just better anyway, right? I mean, let's see, Urson Ritual, uh, I mean, it's a self-wound list. What manners does Buzz, uh, Puzzle Express have to deal with those cards? He had some removal there. Uh, he had Morelsi, I believe. He had... It wasn't Tin Boy. That was Pyre Boy, I think, who had Tin Boy. Yes, Pyre had Tin Boy, yeah. Yes. No, he's the um, Golden Necker version. But again, we don't need to guess. Our friends are going in. This could be the final game. And he does decide... You know what? My best chance is take this list on blue coin because that's where it wants to be and it's already, I would say, built to beat the list it's facing and then take Syndicate and try and do your best to abuse that red coin if you can make it there. Once again, though, for Puzzle Express, the hand is not looking amazing. Yeah, really not looking amazing. My gosh, that must ah. be one of the worst hands I've seen. I mean, yeah. let's see. We still got a mulligan... No Carl, no Berna. You've got Morkvarg in hand, Skirmisher. Magpie actually has a good chance of taking this round on even, I'd say. Or taking that Erendite value away, causing it to become a brick. It's, it's an awkward hand for Magpie as well, though, right? Because you, you don't really want... Obviously, Nickers in hand is always terrible. The Ale is great for later. You don't really want to give it now, although you know no locks exist, so you could... Uh, Defender could come back, but Bride of the Sea is a brick in herself, so neither of them have drawn the most optimal hands here. Let's see what they make of it. 
Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna have to bluff their way out of this one. They're, they're gonna have to pretend that they have something in store and that it's better to opt out of the round because right now nobody's letting on that their hand is horrible. Um, mm. Ah, cute. I like that. <laughs> I love this play. Absolutely love this play. You want to give me rain? No worries. I will give you exploding skulls. <laughs> Big fan of that. And Puzzle instantly says, I don't want to stay here. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Not necessarily anything really created, committed or built for either player here. And Puzzle Express saying, I, no, get me out of here immediately. I've been ahead for three turns. Erendite has grown enough. I don't have the tools to deal with your threats right now. Get me out of here. Yeah, so we do see a magpie here just having to decide what card he wants to play to get ahead with. Um, let's see. Goes of the Mahakam Ale. Has to use that leader ability to get ahead, yeah. Alright, easy enough. Yeah. Couple of leader charges. You don't mind using the leader charges in this list because there are so many ways to self-wound. And obviously there is value in it but it's not the end of the world okay finding squirrel could actually be massive for both players here potentially but <laughs> puzzle express not having the best time right now this is one of my problems with the discard package it is yeah problematic sometimes oh there she is yeah it's funny because the discard package is meant to make the deck more consistent but if you don't draw it it's just horrible isn't it And that is kind of the problem, right? That mm. is kind of the problem. Let's see. So we have a Coral in hand. We have Darren for some extra removal. What is next? Red is currently deciding. Magpie plays Maxi. Uh, Maxi. Don't know what he did. We'll see later. Okay. Puzzle Based on the cards he was seeing, probably stuck. I was, he was finding Melusine or could potentially draw it, but. Okay. Some nice carryover. Roach coming out. So that's going to allow Aaron Dye to grow. Which is very nice for him. Let's see so how I far... I think Aaron dies at five. You think Aaron dies at five? Hmm. I could be wrong. Obviously, I'm, I'm trying to just remember, but I think Aaron dies at five right now. Yeah, we can't see, so it's all right. Magpie has to decide how deep he wants to go into this round, because of course having Melusine makes for some pretty nice carryover into a short round three. It does if it stays in the graveyard, but if yeah. you lose this round into that, so you're going into that short round three, Squirrel is going to demolish that as quick as it's possible. So, mm -hmm. but pushing into the round does feel like something Magpie's not going to do at all and take the long round. Okay, very nice drawing into Bernard Brown at least. Yeah. I assume he gets rid of the other Scald here. I assume he gets rid of the other scout here. He's just fishing and looking through his own deck, I'm assuming, yeah. So, probably wants to play one more card as well for multiple reasons, but none of these cards are cards you'd want to play in this situation, right? Unless maybe you give the Darren here on the front row. Back row, okay. I guess you kind of have to use Darren on the back row if you want any chance of using your magic compass. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense here. You can see how much value is left in the deck. Obviously, you want to play down to seven cards. A, because it needs to draw three cards in hand. That extra mulligan isn't much use to you. But also to make sure that your Erendite grows for a free turn on top. So that Erendite now going in at, what, seven or eight uh, instead of six or seven. Yeah, exactly. He just has to decide here what he wants to throw away. The thing is, the Dominion Pirate, Dominion Pirate can potentially thin the deck even more. Which is it something... can, but it could thin something you don't want, right? Exactly. So... Alright. Well, you'd use it last. You'd use Carl, then Berna, then the pirate. It's, it's difficult. It, I'm sure he calculated that one to the T right now. I'm sure Magic yeah, I mean, Compass... She, yeah. Oh, well, Maxi helps a bunch, doesn't it? It does, although it's probably one of the cards you're willing to discard. Uh, you're going to see... All, well, you're going to see everything through the deck with the amount you're going to discard anyway, so... It's all going to be quite a potent final round. The squirrel now is... Mm. Uh, I mean, if you could have killed something, but yeah. I suppose if you're killing it, you're heat-waving it, right? So, Erendite was an option. Um, you could Erendite something and then try and hope they don't resurrect it the next turn, but that is a lot of hope. Uh, not something you really want to sort of, yeah, put your hopes on, so... This is going to be interesting... 
It is. This could be the great final looking game. hand on the other side. Yeah, both have great looking hands in all honesty because you now have your discard package ready to go, which is going to provide quite a bit of points actually. Um, with Carl being uh, a threat. So what do you start off with is the question, Maxi? Or is that a card you want probably to dispose Maxi. of? No, probably, I mean, easily Maxi, right? I would say, I mean, I'm assuming it's Maxi here. Just dumping Carl seems a little bit risky and a little bit greedy, albeit there aren't that many ways of dealing with it in a single turn, so maybe you could. Uh, but for Puzzle Express here, this is going to be tough. And he does decide just to do it and say, you know what? Show me 6p removal, Chief. Yeah, the thing is, I think that exist. there are some cards left in the deck, can't recall which, which are potentially important. So seeing that you want to discard so much still, Carl, as well as Berna, you need to make sure... Uh, okay, actually, there's horrible cards in the deck. I take that back. Maxi was yeah, a potential card to play, um, in my opinion. And the bottom card is the discard. So I'm guessing you're going to shuffle that up because you want the value of the discarded unit, right? Yeah. You want to see these discarded. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Not what you want. Not what you want. Obviously, Coral as well here mm -hmm. is going to do damage, but has a 50-50 chance in that turn of actually losing you points by damaging a target that wants to self-wound. Or an armoured card. An armoured card oh, will yeah. only be one point of damage, which is less than ideal. So at least they know Carl, uh, Carl isn't really a threat anymore that can be dealt with, or else she would be gone. So Puzzle Express knows that Carl is safe wonder what we do with the defender i would love to see a leader ping in the muzzle that never happens though they never go for the leader no. ping in the muzzle oh ouch no it, it no the muzzle on the defender while it's it looks flashy you've got two answers to deal with the two do biggest it, threats right it. you've got to be able to heat one of them he's got a zunod onto that now which will feel way better uh to be able to get rid of the defender the first time uh if he decides to go for that option doesn't though is going to kill it this way instead first. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Do you not to kill Melusine is an option then? Maybe. Maybe. The problem is it's going to come right back and a squirrel is not in hand right now. Nope. I also There's don't so think... many different yeah, sorry. ways this could go still. Mm. See, that's the problem. Oh, look, it's a defender. <laughs> that's, that's why we steal it with muzzle, you see. Well... I guess it's better that that gets resurrected uh, instead of one of the other cards. Now we do yeah, it. Exactly. It's one of them down, and now you're going to see Junod kill it this time round instead, I would imagine. Yes. Because if you have to, so now that's gone. Now that doesn't exist anymore. It's much better to do that because you can't do either of those things to remove a Sigvold, for instance. You have to muzzle or heat wave it. And here it comes. All right. Unprotected Melusine. You love to see it. Now, that can be you killed do. rather swiftly, but it doesn't mean it's going to be killed. It will, okay, no, it there it goes. 100%. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a month, yeah, that's go. That's always gone. Uh, there is still access to Fakusha, right? Uh, from the Royal Decree. Mm -hmm. So you'd Fakusha back. Um, actually, no, not in the graveyard. And no way of getting Sigdrifa's right for Magpie in that case yeah it's rather problematic so you're relying on your last two combos which is knut and sigvald saving the day is it going to stick is the question okay nicely done get the skirmisher out do of the you board. keep the squirrel here do you keep the squirrel i mean i like the squirrel i like having that as an option especially a deck that makes use of resurrecting cards from the graveyard doesn't manage to hit the Sigvold to give it bleeding, to allow it to... Because you want that at six, right? Uh -huh. You would have liked that to bleed once so that it opened up the use me or lose me kind of risk. Obviously, look, we, we can see there is a Mardrum in hand, so that wasn't going to be an, an issue. It would always have just been Mardrum by Magpie, but that would have been maybe what Puzzle was hoping for. All right. Now Squirrel comes out, most likely. Uh-huh. Yep. There we go. Getting rid of some extra, uh, yeah, extra Risk. second chances. So uh, yeah, whatever dies now. I would say probably now... that card is gone, right? Yes. Because obviously you want a second one from the potential Bride of the Sea. So I'm guessing the Mardrome got rid of there. We can't see in the graveyard right now, but I'm assuming so. 
All right, so currently there's a 19 point difference here and we're waiting on Magpie to make his choice. Has to be careful because whatever he plays can just be removed immediately. Magic Compass is also in hand. Uh, going to be interesting to see if that is used in the same way it was used last time or if we go for a different setup this time around. Okay, there we go. So we see Fukusha coming out and what are we going for? All right. Goes for the Harold there. Sort of spreads the value a little bit, makes the leader of Puzzle a little bit awkward as well. Could do three damage or could actually do three damage to you. Makes that a little bit worse now. Ah, uh, that's for sure. Um, I'm curious here. I'm curious. Puzzle's obviously going through all the options. Haven't used Erendite yet because it's still growing. Has the potential to use it though. Obviously holding on to it just a bit longer. Okay, nice. Finally using that muzzle, which is a 12 point swing. And also that card is eating up a lot of the damage, which is rather frustrating. And just leaves it there. That's real. So Magpie is basically saying, yeah, I know you've got Erendite, but if you use it on this, you can't use it on something else, Chief. Very interesting play here. Now, we saw Puzzle Express win a series with this list earlier with Camby, but was obviously in a better situation, had effectively the last say to be able to do it. I don't think we're going to see him do it here, but God, I'd love to. Camby too? You can't pretend like it's not a consideration. I mean... I was joking. Arna, okay, Chad, okay. yes. It's Chad. Chad for days. And Love it. boosts it, yeah. And that looks like it might just be a little bit painful. Well played. Well played. Guys, legitimately, he's playing can be an Arna, Chad. You know what, Puzzle? I rate you so much right now. It's not over, though. It's not over. Hmm. But also Diabed, admittedly. Diabed in the opposite row was a legitimate option as well. To prevent all of the growth, but damage can still be done offensively. Nah, I like Arna, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's vastly superior. Just get rid of the problem. You don't have to do a five head thinking, just kill it. Uh, as simple as that. And Puzzle going for the leader ability? Oh uh, gosh. I feel like it's not worth doing. It really, even if it hits one of those... Uh, I, no, no, there's no point. It's There isn't a 30-point option here, I don't believe. Not even a little. Albeit, you can still... There's no bleeding even sat on the Sigvold at this point, right? So, yeah. Oh, it's not really close. Arnachad takes it. And that, it's to all. Well Puzzle played. Puzzle going the distance. It's, it's up to that round again, Lionheart. It's the final round. And the oh one who wins this is going through to open number two with Pieball. Either Magpie or Puzzle Express, who's giving his best here. Really trying his best. He's left with his syndicate list of the books. Um, admittedly, it's going to be on uh, Red Coin, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I think he'll be okay with that. He would be. He's all right in that situation. Um, if he's going to go second, he's going to try and do his best to... Put some pressure on and take control here against this list. Not the easiest, but you do have access to poison removal, which can deal with some of the threats. It doesn't run any of those taller issues, so there is no heat wave now to deal with that Melusine. There's no way mm -hmm. of stealing that Melusine, and of course, well, there's no way of poisoning Melusine either, so you have to play to your strengths. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Final game. Well, we said that at four at two two last time, so I'm gonna hold my breath. Well, you never know. I mean, let's see. We'll they have to draw very well to begin with. Um, hopefully things go either player's way. Again, Puzzle Express is playing a list that nobody's familiar with, and it can really go either way. He seems to have a lot of different win cons in the list, if you will. Uh, it's very flexible. So yeah. I think on Red Queen, he has quite a bit of leeway to do his thing here. And I'd quite like to see him in action with that list against a Magpie's Scaliger. But yeah, only one can make it through. And I'm quite excited to see who that will be. Either Magpie yeah, or definitely. Puzzle Express. I'd love to well, see the Syndicate list go through. 
It would be impressive. And it, honestly, Puzzle Express's deck building has been fantastic for this tournament, has looked at what was expected and built a really nice lineup to target the most consistent two lists that were going to be there and then just consistently be able to ban the best or most consistent list, which is the Syndicate one. So really nice deck building, got all the way to the finals. Is it going to pay off? Well, one game to make that decision. Hmm. All right, so we do see Melusine in hand right off the bat. Doesn't have, well, has Defender as protection. Again, doesn't really have to fear much here as Melusine oh. has a Veil. So Poison isn't really a threat, which can be rather scary if you are Puzzle Express. Just a little, just a little as you are Golden Necker. It can be removed in the normal version. Obviously, one of the biggest threats is that first turn that you drop it, a Philippa. But wait, there is no Philippa here. Obviously, she is 10 provisions. So a lot of the ways that this list would normally counter are taken away by the list that Puzzle is playing. But that doesn't mean this list can't just outrightly have more points and play its way. Yes. So we do see the Defender coming down. We also see both brothers coming down. So Puzzle Express immediately going for the tempo. And so is Magpie, setting up that Melusine, <laughs> setting up the Defender. We're going to see who outpoints who here. I mean, the Defender can be poisoned, and I think that's what we're going to see happen uh, yep. quite quickly. Very quickly. And setting up the two of these engines, neither of them really have direct one-turn removal a lot, but obviously the poisons can do that. Magpie doing his absolute best here to play for as much value as quickly as possible to stay ahead. Does not want to be losing this uneven here. Oh, definitely not. So, okay, Puzzle Express has played this list a lot because he is clicking quite fastly. Um, let's see, so we have the potential to move that poison onto the defender. That's what happens. Also have the option of just poisoning it directly with the mutated hounds. Front row right now, you could remove the Melusine if you play the Shady Vendor and roll into spend all your coins to do damage. Bloody good fun. But it's a lot of different, yeah, bloody good. It's a lot of different things that could happen. Let's see. It has potential. It's it's definitely an option. It goes for the range goes row. back row. Mutagen. Okay. Has to be the Mutagen. Uh, has the Salamandra units, right? So Mutagen mm -hmm. is playing for twice the value here. Always goes for damage, goes for... Okay. Self-poison. Makes sense. Gets extra coins. Is playing off the books, so over-profiting is not an option. Yeah, it doesn't benefit you. But no no useful spender on board. Doesn't really want to give Candle here unless he's intending to 2-0 either, which is a bit of a shame. So, not the best. Hmm. He is quite comfortably ahead, though. Um, yeah. Um... Which is not bad. And he has big targets, even though Melusine isn't one of them. Um, he certainly has a lot of options when it comes to poison. And he has a lot of coins. I like the fact that the um, Blainheim brother... Uh, what's his name? It's always Roland and the other Blainheim brother. <laughs> Gellert. Gellert. Yes, I would make a horrible mother. Um, but yeah, he is providing a lot of coins here in round one, which is very much needed if you're going to go for that poison combo because it takes four coins a turn if you want to poison the failed experiments and put the poison on a different card. Yeah. Gellert taking every single ping of that rain damage. Uh, no, Roland. I would be just as terrible, it seems. Um, <laughs> as we see the poison engine transition again here. Yeah, makes sense. Probably a bit a bit late in the round, but at least it is a viable spender that is trading your coins pretty efficiently. Yeah, it's as... looking very good for Puzzle Express. It really doesn't have to commit that much, yes. actually, to stay ahead. No reason to stop either. Has the option of spending the, mm, the mutated hounds. Has some big targets you could spend it on as well. Magpie right now yeah, gets ahead too easily. He can't he can't opt out right now. I guess after this Magpie has to pass though. <laughs> He's playing Walter again. <laughs> uh, so is he gonna play the Yeah, the Wretched Addict? I like the Wretched Addict in this list. The, obviously it's just a two point a turn engine. Hey. Effectively at this stage. It is, you know, pretty nice. And you still know he can cycle that poison next turn as well. Magpie probably has to get out here. 
I mean, there's no Long continuing here. Oh gosh, you're just trading down here horribly. I mean, are I you? The problem is he, he can't, you can't lose, win. right? If he loses on even, he's in trouble. No, but you can't win either because even if Puzzle Express passes right now, you have to play another one of your cards you really can't afford to play. So I don't think he does. One, oh, two, you think three, he gets four. ahead anyway? Three points. Yeah. Mm. The poison's actually really clever here. Uh, the problem is, obviously, he can remove the defender for about the 11th time if he wants to. Drops the candle and spends. Okay, that's um, that's quite scary. This must and... be a pass, right? Has to be a pass, Magpie. You're 20 points really behind. Sure in the graveyard, right? The Sigvold is really awkward here. Damn. Plays it. You know, he's saying to himself, I have to play this round. Has he done... The maths on making sure yeah, okay, that's, there you go mm -hmm. now he's okay all of a sudden now this is scary again you could say he's okay i'd say puzzle express is still in a better position here puzzle express can go all in here's nothing to lose magpie on the other hand has just gotten rid of Ceres, gotten rid of knut gotten rid of his uh one tutor from graveyard He's going to get rid of his second tutor from Graveyard, and then he's left with a third. So what are you really left with? A short round Melusine. I mean, that could do it. That could do it. If you're going all in here and you're planning on Melusining in a short round, that could be the difference between who wins and loses here. But there's no catching up, is there? It doesn't feel like there's any catching up at this point. No, I don't think from this situation you are going to find the 30 points from the Fakusha. Magpie accepts that reality and says, okay, I'm out of here. But as you've said, is it a 2-0 or is it going to be double last say trying to deal with that ridiculously sized uh, issue there that is Melusine? I don't think the list... Oh, no, wait, the off-the-books list does run Squirrel. If he finds the Squirrel, Puzzle Express, and gets rid of that Melusine, this... It's over. He has to find Squirrel. He absolutely has to. Oh, Mulligan's that. Oh, and goodness. there's the Golden Necker as well. Okay, he's going to be pretty happy with the way that looks. Is he going to play here, though? Surely you try and bleed out the Melusine Prox. I mean, he's you, you don't to... stand a chance with one extra card. If you find Squirrel Melusine. here, that's got to... Oh, and Squirrel's card, Game too. over. Puzzle Express. Is it, I'm assuming, yeah. Game okay, over. Now, we can't see what's going to be taken here, but I've got to assume it's the Melusine, right? Um... Yeah, it's game over. Uh, well, is it? I mean, they still have Fukushima. Hey, I, I've seen players come back from worse. So... That hurts. We shall see. That hurts a lot. It's no melee scene. Okay, we still have access to a Knut. Knut is still there. All right. We oh, still he have can, signals. He just... Okay, he's got enough coins here as well to very happily... Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting... Oh, never mind. That's not... Okay, that is fine. I assumed there he'd played uh, the Morils, but obviously hasn't played that, which makes sense because it's just to destroy the Sigvold. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're Puzzle Express, are, are you playing here or are you going away? I mean, because you don't want to get rid of the of the spender, right? So you probably have to Golden Necker here, but if you want to keep playing, goes yeah. Forces Magpie to be a card. Oh. <gasps> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Mag no, don't worry. Magpie's 10 up. Don't worry. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, it's it's very late. This is looking good for Puzzle Express, but we shall see. It is looking very good. Uh, Savola is going to be very nice there. We also have the Sword, which is a very interesting card, I must say. Mm. Okay, let's see how this plays out. So just making sure Golden Necker doesn't brick. Make sure every card is in hand that needs to be in hand. Special artifact unit. On this end, yeah, there's so still that combo, right? You've still got the Knut Sigvold combo, which isn't a bad combo. Uh, not at all, no. Quite the opposite. If you're Puzzle Express here, you could play slowly and just play the Teshin Mutna Sword, kill the Harold, for instance, as an option. It has had a habit of doing that. It has had a habit of trying to be a little uninteractive, waiting till the very end. Uh, through the course of the series that we've cast Puzzle Express for sure so far. So mm -hmm. is that going to be the line here? Knows that obviously Savola is in hand, hasn't got to worry about spending pre-Golden Necker. 
but just jamming all of your points on the board, hey, it is an option. Um... Now, I've done that before, and I didn't mean to do that when I... I'm going to assume that was on purpose. I'm going to give the benefit... Look, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt, right? I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt here and assume play. that that was intentional, but I can't think of a good reason why it would be. I'm thinking we'll we'll that was planned to the T because we're dealing with pros here, Lionheart. So it was intentionally done 100%. Yes? He, I, I suppose he, he's looking at it and thinking, if I spend all of my coins on this, I don't have the Muriels. I have to be able to tribute the Muriel Seed to be able to kill the Sigvold. As soon as I do that, it's GG. So I will trade down on these points to delete the only remaining threat. I don't have enough coins anymore. Has got to be the line that he's thought, and he's just not being greedy, right? It's the only thing I can think. Because I, like... Which makes sense, don't get me wrong. But I would have... Th yeah. I'm going with your explanation here. That, um, that's my thought process, but it feels like he has more than enough coins. He so has maybe enough I'm just coins. Wrong. He has yeah. enough coins to place a Vola and Muriel's And know, a ton of poisons. Did he think he had King of Beggars? <laughs> Please tell me he didn't like... I don't know. There, there must no, be it's... some explanation for this. Or okay. did he... I mean, uh, look. <sighs> hey, I, I don't know. Man. Maybe he's playing <laughs> to his out, right? Sure, maybe he's but... just saying... There's a version of reality where I don't have it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's super extended BM, but hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. It's um, the thing with the amount tributeless. of poison he has access to. It always happens because the tribute keeps changing depending on your leader ability and you get confused, okay? But I yeah, was no, he had three coins. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I've done it before. I've gone, I've got enough coins for this and then not clicked them and I was... I don't know, there wasn't long enough a pause there for me to think Puzzle Express had a little bit of an existential crisis. Um, it felt the very deliberate, but I cannot see why it would be. That's It's, it's, it's got to be about coin management, right? He knows he's got the... <laughs> coin management, he, for what? the Muriel C, he wants to make sure that he can use the poison options that are available to him. Like He can kill this Sigvold right now, and that pretty much is game over. Right, he can pay three coins to kill this, or he can pay no coins to kill this. The Sigvold is, the Sigvold's gone. But right? Morielsi just needs like four coins, though. We have so uh, many five coins. Five in this list. Five because yeah. five in this list. Yeah, hmm. six normally, five in off the books. Still, um, do we have enough? He's got a. Is he gonna remove the Sigvold or? My can died. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh god. Well, it was going to happen eventually. It was uh, going to happen eventually. Okay, okay. you'd so rather, rather see my face like that. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't fix the cam without turning off the game. And I can't turn off the game. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with the face. Because the game is more important. Alright? Sacrifices have <laughs> been made. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay, so... Uh, Puzzle Express here holding this right now because he knows, ultimately, look, I may as well. Um, I, I don't think it's going to come back to bite him at this stage. Um, I'm suffering right now. The excitement in your face. This is how much oh, I love that, that is literally, I can't believe this Savola Fae. That is a wow. This is, I am making an active sacrifice towards the community right now. I could just Petition let you not sure see the game. They... But no. Hey, they, they should definitely make sure that they have highlights for each time the players qualify for the Opens at Open and use this footage for the time that whoever wins this game. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm getting back to the Gwen Open final qualifier here. As we can see, it looks like Puzzle Express is home and safe but doesn't have a spender on board, actually. It's almost like um, he has too many coins. Please don't make... Oh, gosh. He's just lost this game. Wait, what? No, has he just lost no. this match? No, 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 no. I think he's just lost this game. Why am I rooting for... A... I'm not allowed to root for a player. Damn it. I was so sure that was done. Okay. Oh, my word. Magpie. Not 
The lack of spender there has absolutely killed him, not tributing that. And he had the coins the whole time, right? He had the coins the whole I don't know why he hasn't clicked. I can't, like, I can't. He could have also just got rid of Sigvold like 27 minutes ago. Um, That's horrible. That is not the ex that is not what I thought would happen at all. Massive GGs through to Magpie there, who, hey, Magpie is one of the most consistent players. He, he could easily have just looked at that last hand and gone, oh, I've got no chance didn't play it out played to his outs and ends up taking it i i honestly i'm not sure why a puzzle took the lie that he did but ultimately puzzle also deserves a huge amount of credit right I that mean, deck building was fantastic i just it just okay gg magpie very well played absolutely deserving to be in the open i must say i feel for puzzle because he not yeah. only did he make it to the very end of top 64 against paya drawed on the last game replayed the yeah. last game lost with like three points he did the exact same thing with magpie didn't draw made it until the very last game i swear this game was his this was his game i, I, I don't understand honestly, what happened there i just do not well, understand that was a misclick face distracted me <laughs> um good so i'm glad to make that offering to you